Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and I want to give you five pieces of evidence that we have sleeper cells here in the United States that are ready to be activated at a moment's notice. And of course, they're brought to you by everybody's favorite, the CCP. Now the first point of evidence is that at our southern border throughout fiscal year 2023, there have been more than 24,000 apprehensions of Chinese nationals, which is actually a 7,000% increase over 2021. I'd say that's pretty substantial, and of course, a large majority of these apprehensions involve military-aged men. So if you needed additional reinforcements for the cells that already exist here in the country, well, you definitely have them now, don't you? So that's the first piece of evidence to let you know that there's this influx of Chinese nationals, a large portion of which are military-aged men coming into the country to help beef up some of these cells. Now, the second piece of evidence is that there are Chinese spy bases all over the country. In fact, six more were revealed after that one in Manhattan was revealed, and they are in places you might not expect. Now, these spy bases, of course, are hubs where not only do they operate as Chinese police forces, but they also can house whoever they feel might be in need of assistance, aka Chinese nationals. Now, these police stations, in addition to Los Angeles and New York City, have also been found in San Francisco and cities in Nebraska, as well as Minnesota. So we have the establishment of these secret spy bases throughout the entire country, because if they're in Nebraska, if they're in Minnesota, then you know they're also in other states as well. And these are hubs where these cells can exist almost publicly and then eventually be activated when the time comes. And of course, the secrecy behind them is what should give you the most concern. Now, I do want to mention that Midway USA is the biggest supporter of the channel. And of course, thanks to them, I can come out here, make videos like this one, and try to keep you prepared when it comes to information based on everything that's going on in the world right now. So a big thanks to Midway USA. Now, the third piece of evidence is that we had that secret biolab found in California. And the targets of the deadly pathogens that they were housing there are still unknown and quite the mystery. No one's really sure what the point of that biolab was. But if there's one biolab that's secret, funded by the CCP, operated by the CCP, and in a relatively public place in the middle of California, you have to assume there's more than just one. And of course, the purpose of this biolab is honestly likely to be nefarious in nature. And of course, if you want to activate sleeper cells, it's nice to be able to provide them with biological weaponry when that time comes. So these biolabs are real and they're here. And of course, this is another starting point for any type of action that might need to occur. This also shows a couple of other things that China looks beyond the national level when it comes to creating chaos here in the country. It actually targets state and local level activities such as politics or municipalities more frequently because they don't have the resources to actually respond to some of these issues. And of course, where that secret biolab was, was discovered by local authorities, and they, of course, weren't prepared to deal with what was found there, and the federal government had to get involved. So this is something you got to keep in mind. And just so you're aware, these Chinese nationals here in the country, they often operate under a policy called serve in place, where they basically serve the CCP with no plan on ever returning to China. So they're here to stay and to accomplish their mission no matter what the end goal might bring. Be aware of that because that is a standard policy that they operate under. Now, the fourth piece of evidence that these sleeper cells are here and they're ready to go. Cause like this is just getting uh, more and more hyperbolic every single day when it comes to their capabilities and what it is they're trying to have in position to be able to flip the switch. China's cyber army is invading our critical infrastructure. That's the fourth piece of evidence, right? We've had a lot of information just recently come out about that. Now we've had info surrounding the fact that hackers from China are burrowing into our systems. And what does that mean? Well, they look for ways to get in without being detected and then they wanna stay in and avoid any detection that might pick them up in the future. And that's basically what burrowing would be. So once they're in, they're not leaving unless they absolutely have to. Now, Morgan Adamski, who is the NSA director of the Cybersecurity Collab Center, said, you're trying to build tunnels into your enemy's infrastructure that you can later use to attack. Until then, you lie in wait, carry out recon, figure out if you can move into industrial control systems or more critical companies or targets upstream. 
And one day, if you get the order from on high, you switch from reconnaissance to attack. That's exactly what we're dealing with here, and that could be considered a cyber sleeper cell, as it can be remotely operated, of course, but it's just another example of a sleeper cell within our systems, which is becoming more and more obvious every single day. Now, the fifth point of evidence that these sleeper cells are here and they're ready to activate at any point in time. And strangely enough, none of this has anything to do with uh, your typical subjects when we talk about sleeper cells, especially if you want to talk about Hezbollah or groups like that. This is all the CCP. This is China. This is the PLA. Okay. The fifth piece of evidence is that they're infiltrating the U.S. military via soliciting service members. And they're in. Okay. They're using bribes or coercion, most likely, right? And they're trying to influence people to be spies for them. But who knows what else it could be? It isn't always just going to end at espionage. We know that there has been service members who have been, you know, developed to be radical extremists to a degree where they acted upon that and caused some dangerous scenarios within their own environment. And uh, I don't think this just ends at espionage, but that's just my point of view. Either way, we already have evidence of this happening when you have two Navy sailors arrested back in August of this year because they're spying for China. So the influence campaign is working. They're getting people when they try to solicit these service members to spy for them. But I'm sure they can solicit people to do more than just spy, which is something you definitely have to keep in mind, because if they're in the military, which would be who we would count on for a response if any of these sleeper cells were activated, that could create its own logistical system issues, and then suddenly things aren't as reactionary as we would like. So I wanted to bring this to your attention, just to give you five pieces of evidence that this is all happening, because a lot of people will hear one story, and then they'll hear another story, and then they'll move on, and in their mind it might seem like it's not necessarily connected. So I wanted to connect some of this for you all to kind of give you an idea as to where we currently stand and what their capabilities actually look like so that you can be better prepared for it. So anything else you need from me at all, go to magicprepper.com. And besides that, it's going to be it for Magic Prepper.